I'm on a Black Friday kick and here we are already at the third Black Friday video of my series this year. If you have not watched my other two Black Friday videos, my tips and the what to shop and not to shop videos, go after this video and check it out. But this video is one of the most important ones to watch. I think personally, something I've been wanting to make for so many years now. So welcome to how to dress on Black Friday. I am a huge believer that the better you dress, the better you shop. It's like dressing for a sport. You've got to get in the right clothes so you can do your best shopping. I just want you here with me the whole time. I want to hear your opinion. I want to hear your tips. I want you to comment below. And uh, it's mano y mano, you and me and the joy joy, right? This is why we're here. So with that being said, how to dress on Black Friday, let's get started. Number one of all ones, if there's any one in any list of tips, it's this one. You must dress comfortably. We cannot be in our joggers comfortable. This is not what I mean. This is not a jogger comfort. There is a different level of comfort I want to introduce you to for this shopping excursion. You're getting yourself ready to go out, but it's also probably pretty early in the morning. You want to be comfortable. And we're going to talk exactly about what that means. The first layer of comfort is wearing leggings. I personally like to wear leggings because I just like to hold in my turkey dinner. Just to like squeeze it in just a little bit. I need my sizing to be correct when I start trying things on. And wearing leggings just kind of sucks me in from that huge Thanksgiving dinner I just ate. You know what I mean? So wear your favorite leggings. But this is the more important reason to do so. And that is because the lines for the dressing rooms or just to check out at places are probably going to be long. In my experience, all of them are. The last thing I ever wanna do is go into a dressing room on Black Friday. I'm too busy finding the deals and snagging the things before they sell out, to be honest with you. So I wear leggings. What this allows me to do is just like shimmy into that pair of jeans, that skirt or that dress or that pair of pants while my leggings are still on at the mirror in the store so that I don't have to deal with like parking my cart and going into the dressing room and all of that nonsense. I just throw it on over. Does it fit? Do I like it? If not, I could return it. But if it's a yes, if it fits my waist and I like how it looks and it's a good deal, it's a yes. And that makes leggings make so much sense when I'm shopping Black Friday. With that, tip number three, easy slide on and slide off shoes. So I know that all of us live in different climates, right? Some of us are wearing big boots because it's probably frigidly cold, and some of us can wear flip-flops. And most of the time for all of us in the mornings, especially early morning, it's freezing. So think about the kind of shoes you've worn. There's been years that I've worn Uggs that I have straight up regretted it because it is so hot when you're in the middle of the store with a bunch of other people and the heat is on. So just be smart about the type of shoes you wear. Maybe you wear cute like tennis shoes that you don't have to tie and untie every time you slide them on and off. You just want something that you can slide on and slide off. That leads me to number four. So let's talk about the layering. We've got our leggings, we've got easy slide on, slide off shoes, but you wanna feel good, right? And layering well is how you do that. I would highly, highly suggest a tight tank top. Make sure no matter what you're wearing and how cold it is, you are wearing a tight, like athletic tank top or some kind of tank top that you can take everything off and throw on something over it at a mirror to see how it looks. You're going to want this. What I would normally wear is a tank top. I would wear a long sleeve sweater or maybe like athletic skin long sleeve to keep me warm. And then 100% a puffer vest. Your puffer vest is the answer no matter where you live. And girlfriend, I'm telling you, if you live in a super cold place and you are lugging in a heavy down coat, you are not gonna have enough hands to grab for the deals that you ultimately could if you didn't have that jacket in your hands. You know what I mean? So I want you to wear a really great puffer vest, a nice insulated athletic shirt, 
and I want you to run your tush as fast as you can from that car to that store. No questions asked. You know what I mean? I was born and raised in Chicago. I know what cold is, but you can do this. I believe in you. Do it for the joy joy. <laughs> Last but not least, your bag. We can talk handbags all day long. I love, 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 love a good handbag, but there's definitely two camps, right? Either you're gonna find and wear your really beautiful crossbody, or you're going to find and wear your big, beautiful tote bag. Either one of those bags will work. I will say this though. Make sure you love how it fits on the shoulder. Nothing is worse than like the shoulder pain or like the, the crossbody strap digging into your shoulder because it's so heavy. We don't want that. And nothing is worse than not being able to throw a tote. You know the elbow test? Do you remember me ever talking about the elbow test? We've talked about this before, where when you throw the tote over your shoulder, your elbow needs to seamlessly go right through those holes. If they're knocking, like if they're knocking the bag, this is no fun, this is not joy. You cannot be using that bag. You need at least a nine inch drop or more to be able to get the maximum love out of carrying a nice big tote bag. Most importantly with that, bring either one of your favorite bags and pack smart. So you're gonna want your protein bar, maybe you want some turkey or beef jerky, you're gonna want a big water bottle, and you are gonna love yourself because you're gonna be able to give yourself everything you need while you're waiting in those long lines with all the beautiful treasures you just found. So, happy shopping, my love. Happy Black Friday. Most importantly, happy Thanksgiving. I love you and I cannot wait to hear about all the beautiful treasures you're finding. Make sure you text me. That way you can share, you can send me pics, we can talk mano y mano. I'm sharing the daily joy here and you and I can share all of our Black Friday finds. With that being said, mwah, I'll see you next time.